cursing stopped uh, when I decided to do music and take it serious when I was about 15, going into 16 years old. And was it gospel music at that time in your life as well? Nah, it was it was secular music, but I was like calm in them. I was a conscious rapper. But like I started doing gospel rap five years ago. And what got you to stop cursing in secular music? Um, They said people use curse words as fillers. So I was like, I got to be more smarter. So I stopped using curse words and started opening up the dictionary. And that made me a little more lyrical. And what was the reaction to others um, that noticed you didn't curse? At first, they thought it was strange, you know. They was like, wow, so you can make dope music without cursing? So I probably inspire others until this day. And then what led you into gospel music? Gospel music. Well, well I got saved, man. Um, I faced a situation, man, where um, I got into a scuffle with some people. Uh, my friends got into it with a guy over his sister, and uh, they started shooting at us, man. And I was like, literally, from me to you, you know, and thank God the bullet missed me. And uh, that made me want to go to church, you know, get my life together, man, because I could have been out of here that day. What age was that in your life? I was 19. And I'm off camera, so people can't see me mm -hmm. uh, uh, during this interview, but I'm approximately six feet away from you. Wow. That close. Yeah. So somebody pointed a gun at you? Point blank range. Yeah. And shot it. And shot it. But didn't hit you. And didn't hit me. That was the grace of God. Did you, did the bullet whiz by you? Did you, how close Oh, were yeah, you? I heard it. Man, it's, life flashed before my eyes and everything, man. Yeah. And uh, he let off a shot and that was it? We let out two. Missed you both times. Missed me both times. And uh, care to share any other details? Um, that's when I heard a voice. Get your life together. And I went to church and changed my life forever, man. You know, so. Had you gone to church prior to that? Um, uh, not necessarily. My grandma used to try to make me go and everything. But after this situation, I attended church myself. You know, I started doing things to better myself as a human being and as an individual coming from the black community, you know. So safe to say you follow religion at this point? I don't do religion. I just believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And why that line of thinking for you? That way of thinking, because religion is a form of a cult, like you could follow people, but like everybody should believe in God. Like. You got your ideas and your creativity. I got my ideas, my creativity, the way I think, my perception, you know what I'm saying, how I perceive the world and the things in it. But when you were raised, mm -hmm. there was influence from your grandmother to go to church. Yes. What religion was that that she was trying to get you to go to church at? Christianity. But she was in a Baptist church, and I go to a non-denominational. So even though you don't follow a religion, you attend a Christian non-denominational non church? Yes, because like I would say this, um, like I said, hip-hop is religion. Rap is not religion. Rap is something you do. So church is not the religion, but it's the title that makes it a religion. Because you have Mormons, <laughs> you have Baptists. You have full gospel. Now you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, I just believe in God, man. So would it be safe to say here that you don't follow religion, you do believe in God, but you lean towards Christianity? Yes, yes, yes. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. Yes, most definitely. Okay. Because that could be confusing if it yeah. wasn't broken down yeah, yeah, to someone. Yeah, yeah, definitely can and uh, what was your grandmother's reaction to this line of thinking that you have? Man, she um happy, man. She know where I come from. She know how I grew up, you know. So I was one of the ones that people look down on and wouldn't think that would make it out where we come from. 
the small city, Blakely, Georgia. But, you know, I got a big house, got nice vehicles, you know, not interchangeable things, but it's nice to have, you know. And this grandmother on your mother or father's side of the family? Mother's side. And for time reference, it's May 2022 now. Mm -hmm. 